Okay, so today I'm gonna teach you guys how to do like eye blinking and stuff with eyes, like how to create an actual eye using the masking tool in this program. So yeah, if we look up here, we can see some projects that I've already worked on. Um, this is just an original character of mine. As you can see, like, she blinks, she sticks her tongue out, but as of this episode, we're just gonna be focusing on her eyes. So, like, you notice how the pupil does not overlap the white of her eye? That is all because we're using a mask for the eyes. Um, masking isn't hard as long as you know how to do it. I opened up a new document. I'm gonna change... Ooh, I got a notification. I'm gonna change the width to 1920 and then height to 1080 because that's HD quality. Okay. Um, right now, I'm gonna go into Paint Tool Sci and I'm gonna just sketch out an eye real quick. So, yeah, be right back. Okay, so I successfully just sketched an eye. I might have gone a little overboard, but it, it looks fine. Okay, so I'm going to export it. I'm not even going to save it. I'm just going to export it. I2. Um, I'm just going to export it like this. Okay, and now I'm going to file import to library. SD card. Okay, um, PNG, there. So now in my library, I should have it. Click and drag. Okay, so I'm going to shrink this just a teeny bit. Right there. Okay, so I'm gonna name this layer sketch. I'm going to lock it, right click it, click properties, make it transparent so that way I can see underneath it. And then we're gonna start actually like going into it. So I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna name it just lines cause you know, we're doing line art here so. So there's like multiple ways you can go about this. Um, I could just use the brush tool and just, wait, the pen pressure is not on. You could use like the brush tool, but like the brush tool is like extremely sloppy, not the best. Um, I'm using a Wacom Intuo Small right now, so yeah. Hmm. I'm actually going to use the line tool. So, properties, I need to change the width. Okay. So, I'm going to actually sculpt this eye. Doesn't have to be perfect. Why don't we make that a little thinner? Four, maybe. We'll worry about the eyelashes later. Okay, now we just need to like round out these edges a tiny bit. That actually looks really good. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing, just inside this time. Yeah. 
Okay, so now that that's done, we're just gonna fill it like so. Okay, so now what we do is we highlight it, right click, convert to symbol, and I would just name it I number one, go inside of it, and now this is where like the tedious part comes into play. So I'm gonna name this lines again, and now I'm gonna create another layer for the lashes. And I'm basically just gonna do the same thing I did before. That looks really nice, really, really nice. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create the mask, which actually isn't that hard. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna pick like a really vibrant color. Like I usually pick the shade of green, for example. And now I need to like fill it, but we're not gonna put it on this layer. So once we have this, we're gonna click it, copy, remove it and now we create a new layer right click mask and then we paste on the mask layer and when you lock it it looks like the mask disappears but it's actually still there so now we're gonna create some layers and put them like into the mask layer um Okay, so I'm just gonna, like, disappear the mask real quick. Let me just label it so I don't forget. Okay, so now... I'm gonna create, like, the iris. Which is the part of your eye with the color. I spelled it wrong. Okay. I'm just gonna pick purple you know, cause I like purple. The oval tool, get rid of the outlines. And I'm just gonna create like an oval. Let's move that in. And like, even though it goes outside the outline, that is perfectly okay, cause you want that to happen. We're gonna lock this layer on the one above it we're gonna make this the pupil. We're gonna make the pupil black. Same thing, oval tool. That looks about right. Okay, and then sometimes what I like to do is create a little bit of shine to it. So I'm just gonna take the color white and just do this for Pete's sakes okay so if I were to turn on the mask it would look something like this like oh my gosh that looks so amazing okay so now I need to create like the white behind the eye so I'm gonna name this layer white and I'm going to make it underneath the mask layers so basically all I have to do is just paste this from before and change it to white it can be like any color you want just you know most of the time it's white and yeah that looks really good that looks really good Um, I guess for like a little added bonus, I'm gonna add, you know, like the eyebrows and stuff. So there's actually like a really cool trick if you go to like the line tool and like you see this one, this brush right here. So yeah, this is basically what our eye symbol now looks like. I'm gonna turn off the sketch. 
it looks really nice. It looks really nice in my opinion. I'm just gonna copy and paste and then flip horizontally. That looks really nice. That actually looks really freaking nice. I'm gonna create like a nose in the middle to create like a face. It looks like a Disney character, almost. <laughs> okay, so... Hmm. I think that's pretty much it for part one. In part two, I'm definitely going to teach you guys how to make it blink. And it's going to be really, really lit. It's going to be amazing. So just stay tuned. Wait for part two. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.